You go somewhere, kill some men, and then you go and get your reward. Hello everyone and welcome back. Last time we saw Henry intercede to save the villagers at Ujit's mill. He managed to save both the millmates and the winter supplies, but he'll have to hope that morale in Kuna's band will hold steady. Can we set out? Sure. We'll head towards Sasau today. Jakey heard at the tavern in Ledechko that someone there saw some unfamiliar horseman. You think they could be Hagens? Maybe, maybe not. It's enough that they're not local. Could be the escort of some merchant caravan, of course. If there was any disappointment amongst the group, it didn't show when they set off on the patrol east of Sasau. Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. <laughs> <laughs> or that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. <laughs> Hagen's Zul's men had had enough of Henry and his merry lot. There were footmen preventing a retreat and archers ahead, determined to skewer them where they stood. Kuno's men took on the foot soldiers, but Henry knew that they weren't going to survive if they ignored the archers. Luckily Kuno's men were all still alive when he rejoined them. Together they finished off the footman, but it was time to beat a hasty retreat before more showed up. Lads, Henry will hold the rear. Are you thinking the same as me? It's like that time, five winters back, near Yihlava. Six, maybe. Only that time, it was us lying in wait. Aye, I can't blame them Zools. It's a good trick. Just look at how I'm fucked up. They picked a nice spot. They figured we'd be half drowned and lose our weapons in the current. Only Jakey's been washed away. Where is that little shit anyway? If he ain't dead, you'll soon wish he was. Look at Kuno's face. Aye, I've seen that look before. At that ford by Yilava. Five or six winters back. Where we were lying in wait for that treacherous sister of his and her cronies. Looks like Kuno hadn't forgiven his sister and her husband for stealing his domains. He had no problem with serving up revenge, even if he was a little cold. Yet he'd be wise to not join his list of enemies. I 
make it all over. And that's not the worst of it. What's up, brother? That little finger broke on my gauntlet. Again? I hit the bank with a right thump. How often have you fixed that? Four. And once Fletch fixed it for me. You love them gauntlets more than a wench. And one or the other will be the death of me. Nah, it's the booze that'll get you. Horseshit. It's the booze that keeps me in one piece. Speaking of which, you still got your wineskin. What now? I don't know. They could be lying in wait for us anywhere. Someone must have snitched on us. We should split up and get the fuck out of here. So every man for himself? Just so. But you think it was one of the band who betrayed us? Look around for yourself. Who's missing? Jakey. That's who. I sent him on ahead and he knows which way we're going. That little fucking Judas. When I get my hands on him, he'll rue the day he was born. I'll try and track him down. He can't be too far away. No, it's too risky. He could have Hagen's people all around him. All we need to do is get out of here in one piece. And off they go. But maybe they should have asked Henry for guidance, because they ran straight into bandit encampment. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? Too bad for the bandits, though, because Kuno's men were in no mood to play. <laughs> Looks like Hagen Zula had more men than anticipated. They'd set up a barricade on the road and were laying in ambush, but Henry was stealthier than they were. This won't take long. Okay, maybe don't pickpocket brigands when one of them is looking at you. You cop. Come here, lily liver. He was outnumbered and in dire danger, but the stone came to Henry's rescue. Together they made short work of this fool. even recruiting peasants to his cause it seems. What are you after here you fucker? I can see you're not from around here. But with a little fast talk, Henry managed to convince you. them that it wasn't uh, a good idea to take on a heavily armored fighter. Coin. You want coin, do you? For the funeral, I suppose. A coffin and a priest. Sorry, but your old woman will have to pay for that. In fact, start running if you don't want to die. Come now. No need to get upset. It's just a bit of banter, nothing more. So, I'll be on my way then. Farewell. Too bad nobody had told Fletching and Dangler, because they ran in and started to give them the what for. You made a mistake getting on the wrong side of me. It was all going fine until the peasant's mutt decided to attack Dangler. Henry killed it, but it looks like the lads were dog lovers and weren't having any of that. He legged it. The last sight he saw was Kuno's men getting it on with the peasants. Maybe they'd forgive him after they cool down. Back in the camp, Henry could only see Jan Behrman and Kuno. I want to talk to you. Uh, let me guess. It's about that ring? Yeah. You gave it to Fletch, right? Uh, yeah. That's a shame. I had my eye on it. Any idea where he put it? He definitely ain't got it on him. Sorry, not a clue. Look here. If you could get it back from him and bring it to me, 
I'll give you something for your trouble. I'm looking for the Ring of Bacchus. Fletching is supposed to have it, but he's hidden it. <laughs> you won't have it easy, then. Fletch is as tricky as they come. Hmm. Jan wanted the ring, but none of the other lads were there. They're having a lie down at the crossroads where he left them. That's where they were loitering. Let this be a lesson for everyone. Don't mess with bohemian peasants. Next thing you know, they'll get themselves wagons and firearms. Then things will really kick off. Since everyone was otherwise disposed, it fell on Henry to track down Jakey and question his involvement in the ambush. I see everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, someone up there, or someone down there. Shit, yeah, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him, and beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. Well, that sounds like a good plan. But why me? For one thing, you're reliable. And for another, you're not likely to wring his neck on sight. Which can't be said for the rest of us. But where is he hiding? He isn't a little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. The inn on the meadow, or something like that. The inn in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see, to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to spring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure. Jakey won't be there forever. And someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going then. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. It seems that Jake is being living up at the end of the glade. That doesn't sound like Jake barely escaped with his life. It does rather sound like he sold Henry and Kuno than the river. Almost literally too. Looking for a young fella by the name of Jakey. A cheeky looking stripling. That'll be him, all right. Well, I don't like to snitch on my guests. It ain't good for business. Since it's you, I'll make an exception. Thanks, Andrew. Well, I was gonna throw him out on his ear at first. He strolls in here like some lord, ordering people around. He's nothing but a snot-nosed brat. But then, he showed me the weight of his person. Well, business is business. He stayed here a couple of days. Yesterday evening he was boozing here, and then went off to the woods with some wench. To the woods? That's a very broad term in these parts. Someone said they saw them heading south across the meadow. There's pine woods there and cliffs, and that's where they went. The girl's father was here with her, a merchant. As soon as he noticed she was gone, he went off to look for her. You might meet him. All right. Thanks. Jake's playmate has a father, and he's hanging out at the edge of the forest. My little girl, come back! My little girl, come back! Maria, Marushka, where are you? This is all her mother's doing. What's going on here? Maria, my daughter has run away. That's what's going on. Some people at the inn said they saw her running this way with some fellow. And not far from here I found her scarf. I see. Well, why don't you follow her, then? I would, of course. Only, they said the fellow was armed. And I've got a horse and wagon here. I might get robbed while my back was turned. Well, she's your daughter. Are you just going to stand here and do nothing? Well, the thing is, it's not the first time she's done it. And she always came back. But I've got to carry on to Sternberg, and she's nowhere to be found. Ah. Uh, well, I can have a look for your Maria, if you want. You do that? Of course. Helping my neighbour in his hour of need is my Christian duty. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You said you found her scarf here somewhere. Yes. Right past the shrubbery there. Hanging on a tree. Hmm. I'll have a look that way then. 
God be with you. This is looking rather suspicious, isn't it? Some girl suddenly wants to spend some time alone with Jakey. Looks like Hansel and Gretel went this way. Her father is at the edge of the forest waiting for them both. Of course it didn't have anything to do with Jakey's purse being heavy with dirty coin. Looks like they started to disrobe on the way too. Seems it's not booze we're interested in anymore. It's always nice to take away a memento. Please untie me! Looks like someone might be in trouble. A feast definitely happened, but from the looks of it, Jakey didn't get the bang he expected. Henry? Please, Henry! Well, not unless Jakey has some unorthodox ideas about fun. I'm glad you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time, but that one was a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin, instead of trying to smash my skull right away. And then, to leave me like this. <laughs> I say that's the pot calling the kettle black. Listen, Henry. That thing with Hagen. I didn't want to, really. But they kept threatening me. And then, they offered me coin. Jesus, Henry, I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zool? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Mates? After you dropped me and the others in the ship? You know we could have all been killed at that ford. Jesus, I know, Henry. I'm sorry, truly. But look here. If I tell you where to find Zool, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? That rock must have really scrambled your brains. Henry, I, I'm really sorry. I swear. Those fellas scared the wits out of me. I can believe that. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. Please, let me go. First, tell me where Hagen is, and then we'll see. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'd be left here for the crows. Why did you have to betray Kuno? You could have just taken the money and done nothing. Yeah, just like Kuno would do. You've only been with us a while. If you'd been riding with him as long as I have, you'd see through him. He passes himself off as an angel of mercy, but he's as much of a swine as any common footpad. You're an ungrateful brat, Jakey. There's lads of your age working the fields and sweating in forges, and no one pampers them. But you get a chance others can only dream of, and what have you done with it? But they don't risk ending up gutted in some ditch, day in, day out. <laughs> Funny you should say that, since you just came pretty close to it. And for what? You go boozing for a few days, and then you get duped by the first wench you run into. You don't want to talk? All right. But I can leave you to rot here if I want. So he did give us up to Hagen Zul. The right punishment for the betrayal would be death. But he had also confessed readily, and he lost his 30 pieces of silver from the betrayal. Henry, be reasonable! Well then, are you gonna talk? Like I said, untie me, and I'll tell you everything. Yes, I know what you mean, Jakey. Kuno's no less of a bastard than that Hagen. They're all birds of a feather. Yeah, right? Why ride with him then? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radzig wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know, if you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will suffer. Oh, uh, I suppose you're right. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think? He's gonna go there in person, along with what's left of his band. So, are you gonna untie me now? Not a chance. This is a fitting end for a Judas. Farewell. We clearly can't have him back in the group. But does he deserve to starve to death in the depths of the forest? 
You swine! You're a fucking swine, Henry! A fucking treacherous swine! What about that treacherous little bastard? I left him in the woods, tied to a tree. Unless someone finds him and unties him, I suppose the crows will get him. Ah, well... I would have thought that news would come as a relief, but to be honest... I suppose I have a soft spot for the little fucker. Well, what's to be done? It was his own stupidity that killed him. What the tender mercies of the executioner? What law did he break exactly? I took him to the Ratai jailhouse. What will happen to him? That's up to Sir Radzik. Considering what he did, he'll be lucky to get out of it alive. I'm not so sure. Radzik always had a soft heart. He got me off the gallows after all. All right. You can go. Oh, thank you, Henry. Thank you. I owe you one. If we ever meet again... Ah, uh, you'll buy me a beer and we'll have a friendly game of dice. Maybe a more appropriate punishment would be to let him leave, but leave him penniless. He might even run into Kuno again, so it's only a stay of execution, not a dismissal of that fate. Either way, the news wasn't good for Maria's father. His not so little girl had enough money to run away for good. I have news of your daughter. Oh? But she's not with you. What happened? That little vixen bashed Jakey over the head and took his money. Clever lass. What? Who cares? The question is, where is Maria? Why hasn't she come back? Well, it's not that I feel sorry for that sneaky bastard, but you seem suspiciously happy with your daughter's behaviour. Well, Maria's a... a big girl. I'm glad she's able to take care of herself. So where is she? I don't know. She cleared off after she robbed him. The little bitch. Um, what? Never mind. It's not the first time she's done it. Anyway, I'll wait here a bit longer. All right. Well... I'll be on my way. Run along. Say. Looks like the father was in on the entire scheme. Okay, so naked and penniless it is for you too. <laughs> on the meantime, the rest of Kuno's band finally decided to end the nap and come back to camp. Want that ring? I believe you still have it? Ha! <laughs> First he brings me the ring, then he wants it back. Well, those are the rules of the game, right? True enough. Only I did the sensible thing and hid it carefully. It's not so much about the free boots. I'm just a compassionate bastard by nature. But just to make things interesting, here's a wee clue for you. Find the dead standing among the living and turn your eyes heavenward. I'm looking for that ring for your brother. Stefan had it last, but he hid it somewhere. Any idea where it might be? No doubt he wants to keep it safe from drunken bastards like my brother. <laughs> Well, it takes one to know one. Any idea where he might have put it? Me? No. Not a clue. I'm looking for that ring. Stefan has it hidden away somewhere. Know anything about it? Christ. You haven't had enough. No, I don't know anything. Enough of what? Chasing around after that trinket. It's just as well you took it from me, though. Don't need any extra temptation to get drunk. Uh, thanks, anyway. Turns out that Stefan is the trickiest of the lot. He's hidden the ring so that nobody can steal it from him, but the stone seems to have seen him do it. Um, I'm looking for the ring, but Stefan has hidden it somewhere. Any idea where it might be? Mm-hmm. Ah, you know something. Where he hid it? <coughs> birds? Something to do with birds? Mm-hmm. You can't tell me any more than that? Mm -mm. The dead among the living refers to a dead tree among the living ones, and high up is a bird's nest that you can shoot down. I've got the ring. <laughs> Kuno won't know what hit him. I'll drink the alehouse dry just to get my money's worth. Here, have a drink yourself, on me. Thanks. Enjoy. Come here. I want to ask you something. But of course, 
Peter wasn't just going to sit around and watch his brother drink a tap and dry. Like I said, maybe you might help me out. It wouldn't by any chance have to do with the ring I got for your brother. Ha! How did you guess? Put it down to my amazing powers of deduction. So, are you gonna get it for me? It won't be easy, mind. Yan thinks I might try to steal it. The mistrustful bastard. Alright. Why the hell not? Great. Best thing is just to pinch it. He watches me like a hawk. But you... And the most vehement way to get it back was just to beat up Jan for it. I want that ring back. <laughs> That's a good one. The ring back. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Good for you, but you're not getting it. Come on. How about fighting for it, eh? Not in the mood for it, sorry. Besides, I'm looking forward to drinking away every Groshen Kuno has. And more! Boozing is about all you're good for. What are you trying to say? You're a drunken good-for-nothing, just like your brother. And clearly not very smart since I have to explain it to you. Don't you insult my brother, you piece of shit. Or what? Or I'll give you what for. Oh, I thought you weren't in the mood for fighting. You just put me in the mood. <laughs> Ooh, got the ring. Brilliant. Yan will have a fit. <laughs> Here, have this for your trouble. You've earned it. That's the last straw for Kuno though. And for Henry too. He only got involved to become friendlier with the group, but now he's beating them up. Henry! Come here! Henry! What's up, Kuno? It's about that accursed ring. What, again? Aye. I heard the fellas had you running around for them. You mustn't let them take advantage of you. Anyway, it's all gotten a bit out of hand. I wanted to raise morale, but instead I've got them at each other's throats. Yeah, true enough. But what do you want me to do? I want you to get the ring from Petter and bring it to me. I can't just take it back, see? They'd lose their trust. Besides, Petter's hidden it somewhere. You won't be willing to give it up. All right. But I hope this is the last time. I'll bring you the ring, and the game's over. Don't worry, I've done with this game. In future, I'll just buy the fellas a drink now and again. Let them play their own games. Turns out that Stefan is rubbing off on people. Look here, Petter. About the ring I gave you. Yeah? What about it? I need to have it back. Well, that's tough. And don't think you can pinch it from me. I've got it well hidden. Come on. It's not playing the game if you go and hide it somewhere. Fair enough. All right, I'll give you a clue. Steeples guard the fields in a line. On one of them, across, you'll find. Off you go from east to west. Find the steeple. That's your test. Good heavens. Did you just make that up? Sure I did. Didn't know I was a poet, eh? But what can I say? I'm flabbergasted. I'm confused. Good. Work it out if you can. But neither was as clever as they thought they were. The sepals are haystacks, and the partially filled stack can be interpreted as the shape of a cross. Here it is. Oh, good. Finally, there'll be peace around here. And listen. I won't invite you for a drink, since it's not the right occasion, but I've got something special for you. Thank you kindly. And so ends the tale of the Ring of Bacchus. Like all drinking, it needs to be done in moderation. Or you'll end up with a bear man sleeping in a ditch somewhere. But it's high time we confronted Hagen Zul. Zul plans to raid Samapesh, and he wants to lead the attack himself. I see. And what about that treacherous little bastard? I let him go. What? Are you out of your mind? That little fucker nearly got us all killed. Now what can I say? I believe in giving people a second chance. So do I. And I gave one to every man in this band. Only that's not Jakey's second chance, or even his third. He's had a dozen chances already, and he still stabbed us in the back. 
Saddle up now. We'll ride to Samapesh right away. All right. There they are. I can see Zul's colours. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobola. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Cobbler is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Cobbler concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. It seems that this was Zul's plan all along. Lure Kuno to a meeting in appeal to his greed. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. Maybe Jake's stay at the inn had been nothing but bait all along too. What do you say, sir? Although, Jakey probably didn't plan on getting knocked out in the forest. Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. But Henry had learned a few lessons. The hints had been there all along about mercenary loyalty being frail. At the end of the day, it was only coin or threats that would convince Kuno to stay. Have you no honor at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a groschen. Because you owe him a favor. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno. What do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honor? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. 
It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay then? Obviously. Well, it didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you. But I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damn fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favours. So be it. The normal state of affairs is for at least one or more of Kuno's band to die in battle. It seems to be Jan Behrman more often than not, if you punched him out for the Ring of Bacchus. Maybe he didn't heal before the battle started. Well, that's that. What now? I don't know about you, but I'll have to do some recruiting. Yeah. I'm sorry about your men. Can't be helped, lad. They knew what they were getting into. That's a mercenary's lot. Oh, I know, but... You seemed like good companions. Aye, but a company like that doesn't last forever. I've buried enough men, let me tell you. You should go and report to Sir Radzig that we won the day. Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? Some of Kuno's men fell, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Such is a mercenary's life. May they rest in peace. Henry can also ignominiously flee. In which case, it's likely Kuno's band will succumb, and Radzik left in an even worse position. Luckily it seems that there are steps Sir Radzik can take, but a great cost. Sir, I'm afraid that business with Zul isn't over yet. What do you mean? What happened? We engaged with them near Merhoyet, both sides at full strength, but um, things weren't going well for us, and I... Uh, I retreated. Well, you did your best. What about Kuno's company? I don't know. I ran off. But I don't think they fared well. Damn it. That's not good. At least there's a silver lining. How's that, sir? Hagen's brother, Nicholas Zul, was taken captive by the Lord of Kolditz. His messenger came to me today. He wanted to ask me, as the royal hetman, what he should do with him. And what will you do? I'll have to advise him to let Nicholas go, which won't be good news for the Lord of Duba, whose estates he'll surely pounce on. I'll draft a letter to Hagen, explaining the situation. I'm sure he'll drop his feud in exchange for his brother's freedom. But there are criminals. Hagen and all the Zuls, you'll make enemies. The Zuls were fighting in Moravia on the side of Prokop of Luxembourg, which makes them possible allies against Sigismund. Considering everything that's going on, no one will doubt the wisdom of my decision. Will it be enough to persuade Hagen to leave? I have no doubt of it. The Zuls are a close family. They've little left but each other after... after what happened to them. So it all turned out well in the end? Yes and no. Sir Andrew of Duba has been my ally for years. Once he finds out what happened, that'll be the end of our alliance. In the end... This whole affair has cost me more than I ever expected. All right. How do I get the letter to Hagen? Someone else will do that, Henry. Oh. Um... All right, sir. God! <laughs> Want to live? Ah. Then give up! Oh. 
Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? I, um... Uh, I'm the last one left. Oh my god. Then I thank the Lord you were spared. It is possible with some luck and focus to keep them all alive. Good work, lads. Ha-ha! Whore sons! Well, now it's time for a drink. Well, that's that. What now? Now? Now we'll go and look for peace in the bottom of a tankard. That's all. What else is there? That's the nature of the job, Henry. You go somewhere, kill some men, and then you go and get your reward. Unless you're doing it for nothing, like a fool. But you should go and bring Radzig some good news, finally. Good news? You nearly betrayed Sir Radzig. You mustn't take it like that, Henry. Radzig knows well how things stand with me. And that was the last favour I'll do him. I don't think he'll be expecting any more from you. <laughs> he said that the last time. What, you think I ought to be grateful that you didn't betray us? It sounds peculiar when you put it that way, I admit. But that's how it is. If there's anything else you want from us, we'll be at the encampment in a few more days. And then, God willing, we'll move on. Well, if I don't happen to see you again, good luck. After the battle, they should be around the camp. Though there's nothing more we can do with them. Sir, we got rid of Zul. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Tell me all about it. We caught up with Hagen in the fields near Merhoyet, and there was a skirmish. But before that, Hagen tried to bribe Kuno. Tell me, how did you persuade Kuno to stay on our side? You're assuming Kuno would have gone for Hagen's offer? I'm quite certain he gave it some thought. Considering I don't pay him a single groschen, probably quite a lot of thought. You're quite right. So, how did you persuade him? I simply appealed to his honour, sir. <laughs> Simply. Knowing Kuno, I'd say it would be simpler to persuade the devil to go to church on Sunday. That's not far off the mark. But maybe he's not that bad after all. In the end, he did stay and fight for you. Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? We were fortunate. Everyone survived. Including Kuno. That's how it should be. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Should you be too poor or too uncouth to keep Kuno around, then it will come down to a desperate last ditch challenge to a duel. Go then. Sir Radzig doesn't need the likes of you anyway. You're nothing but a self-serving swine. Sorry, Henry. You know how things are. Times are hard. Tell Radzig, uh. Tell Radzig. Ah. He'd do the same in my shoes. Take my advice, lad. It's better to stay alive. Good luck! You're Radzig's man, eh? Well, go back to Rate. Tell him the hiding is over. I expect him to face me on the battlefield. No. First, you'll face me. 
I challenge you. Look here, lad. My quarrel is with Radzig. It's him I want to fight, not you. You bought Kuno off with coin, but he's just a common mercenary. I serve Sir Radzig whatever the circumstances. You like to talk about honour, Sir Hagen, so I'm sure you understand I have mine too. And I will defend my liege lord. Very well. If you want to die for your lord, I won't deny you that privilege. This will be an honourable fight, man to man. If I should fall, you're not to touch a hair on the lad's head. Got it? Desperate but clever, Zul can't very well challenge Ratzik to a duel and call him cowardly for refusing it. St. George guide my hand. And then refuse his own challenge from Henry, at least not without losing all respect from his men. He's no easy prey and has the best plate armor you can obtain and a very sharp sword. It takes a highly skilled Henry to defeat him. So don't be afraid of using potions and preemptively taking a Lazarus or Chamomile brew if you're going to duel him in hardcore. Based on his men's reactions to his death, it seems that the bear men were wrong in their assessment of Zul as lording over his men. Lord Jesus, accept unto your bosom this noble man. Good day, Henry. All the saints in your name. God have mercy on his soul. Lord Jesus, Dear God, accept unto your bosom this noble man, and make of him a martyr in your name. Clearly they felt a lot of respect for him, because they not only leave Henry alone, but they leave the province for good. But Zul does have his weaknesses. Radzig may be no match for him, because Zul spent his time fighting in the Maghrebi Wars, but maybe Zul should have instead spent his time picking herbs like Henry. It is possible for him to surrender. Do you surrender? Ah, I admit defeat. Then leave and never come back to this province. Neither you nor any Zul. I'll go. But I speak only for myself. Radzik shamed all of my family, not just me. And then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now go. You heard. Mount up. We're leaving. And you can tell Radzig that his name isn't whitewashed yet. I'll leave him be, but I won't speak for the rest of the Zools. God day, be with Henry. you, Henry. It does mean that you don't get his armor, though. Sir, we got rid of Zool. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Tell me all about it. Well, sir... Uh... I should tell you first that Kuno betrayed us. He took Hagen's bribe right on the battlefield. Hmm. Frankly, I was half expecting it. Uh, that treacherous bastard rode off and left me alone on the battlefield facing Hagen's company. All I could do was challenge Hagen to a duel. God above, Henry! That was damned reckless. I had to do something. After Kuno betrayed you, there was no one else to defend you. It would have come to a duel anyway, only with you instead of me. And we know how that would have ended. What do you mean? No, you said yourself the Zools were fighting in Moravia while you were engaged in... Um, courtly matters. I'm afraid you wouldn't have stood a chance. And as a member of your company, I had to defend you. And you had that much faith in yourself? Well, sir, in the time I've been in your company, I think I've proved myself capable. That you have. So, Hagen Zool is dead. No. He yielded, so I had to let him go. But under the condition that he left and never returned. Hmm. You behaved honorably. A duel has rules, and they should be respected. I agree, but not everyone has the same sense of honor. So watch that someone doesn't take advantage of yours. There is nothing else I could do. His company was there. If we'd been alone, I'm not sure what I might have done. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'd do in that situation either. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Ah, thank you, sir. But I'm sure you'd have managed without me. Don't be so modest, lad. Since that catastrophe at Scalitz, 
I don't have many people left that I can rely on. No, I can't deny. Sometimes I get the feeling I'm the only one around here who's capable of getting things done. True enough. I lost a lot of good men in Scalitz. I'm glad I still have you at least. The best outcome is for Henry to bonk him out. Ah! Then take his armor. Do you surrender? Ah, I admit defeat. And thus, Zul shares the fate of all who irritate Henry, as he retreated from the province in defeat, naked and penniless. So, Hagen Zul is dead? No. He yielded, so I had to let him go. Hmm. You behaved honorably. A duel has rules, and they should be respected. I agree, but not everyone has the same sense of honor. So watch that someone doesn't take advantage of yours. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.